Okay, let's have one or two five minute games this morning. Um, okay. I wonder how many times the plans are on. Ah, it's true, 2066. That's good to try and wake up. Uh, okay, so 2066. Can I play. Actually, Widower worked out quite well yesterday. Let's try Widower. <coughs> That's strength for the centre. I do get the bishop here. Lady Queen G4 here. Uh, right, so I take. And then I'm supposed to play knight e2, I think, to shield the king for queen e5. Uh, or is it? <laughs> oh, there. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that might be right. And then f4. Off takes queen d3, uh, then knight takes c3, and I've forgotten all my theory. <coughs> so f4 protecting the center. Okay, so black's got a bit of counterplay. Um, I think I leave that pawn there actually. Might be better, just leave the pawn there. So I play for like. Um, Knight d4 here. Uh, queen takes c3 here. Uh, does he know all the theory? Am I in trouble? If I play um, bishop f2 at some point, g4 takes bishop h3. Uh, I was going to play for d4. G4, bishop h3, attack on h5, uh, f5, weak in d5. Uh, that's not really a standard plan though, is it? If h4 and g4. Hmm. I forgot what the plan is here. Yeah. What about just playing rook b1 anyway, and um, hoping for the best? A queen side attack, rook b1. Uh, G3 and bishop h3, G3 and bishop g2. Okay, this this diagonal might be important, but he's going to probably get onto that pretty soon. Uh, queen d3 here. Right. So I just want to open up the center. If I take then e5, I suppose. But then this idea of g4 and bishop h3 is looking better. Um, right, I think I will take. Okay, it's all pretty thematic. So g4 here. Trying to just develop all the pieces with a gambit. It's getting my king in the center. Uh, so he lose time with this. Bishop h3, I'm winning f5 anyway after his move. What about e4? At some point. Uh, my king in the centre is probably going to be a problem. Uh, this might be a good move anyway, g4. Hmm. Playing sort of thematically. Uh, so he's ripping open the lines to get to my poor king. Uh, actually, knight d6, g5, e4 looks so I'm going to get squashed. So maybe I need to play something like. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get squashed. h3, actually. Uh, not minding getting squashed. Just neutralizing that. Uh, I'll, I'll neutralize that G file. I can get to play Bishop G2 anyway. So he plays E3, I play Bishop G3. I play the other one to G2, my castle. Got a Queen on B3, a Rook on B1, a Bishop on G2. So just I B7, and hopefully both Bishops eye the King uh, over there. Eyeing also G8. So is E3 so bad? That's the question. Oh dear. 
Uh, it could be. Can I get away with C3 here? Uh, Right, I'm about to get totally squashed. I'm not going to D2 check, but he's leaving some squares behind. Okay, is he going to take on G3? I can try and castle if he's not going to. I can suck a piece of play rookie 1. Try and castle. So it takes, takes. Actually, oh, his, his knight on E4 is now in pre anyway. So I just want this position where B7 might be a problem, I can castle. Got pressure on G8. <clears throat> uh, okay. I think I should recapture that. Right now I could castle. Okay. I could just play on E1 now. Um... Move over here. Whereas h4 is a big problem for bishop g4. Maybe king king here for a sec. Uh, then oh he's got um, queen f2. There's knight h1. Ah, oh, I might have to sacrifice a rook with rook f1. Oh well. Uh, I'll sacrifice a rook with rook f1 just to get the queen out. Protect f4. I've got lots of pawns here. Uh, okay, carnage starts. What about knight e4? Stop the queen going to um, uh, f2. Uh, hg and queen e6. What about f7? Uh, f7 just to move that thing out of the way. Uh, stop the use of g8 anyway. Oh, it's a bit too razor sharp for this time of the morning. Oh, he's got queen f4 as well. Okay, so he's on that. Um, I can protect. Nope. So H3 is falling apart. Guess I can't do much about that. Uh, knight G5 is answered by Queen F4. Well, Rook B1 just threatening bait for a second. It's rook H3. Oh, I see. Knight G3. Just trying to shield for a moment. I oh, still rook h3. Whoops. <clears throat> uh, if I got f8 as a decoy, so bishop h3. So queen d5, take f8. It's all getting a bit complicated. Rook g1 might be possible, or bishop h3. Uh, rook g1. Okay, if I play rook g1. Queen f3. Okay, try and stave off the mate for a moment. Okay, so the h file is a big problem. And also bishop f3 is a big problem. It's queen d5 here. Uh, oh dear. So it takes f8. If rook h8, uh, maybe knight h5, this is bishop f3. Really the queen. I might have rook g8 after that. Uh, but I doubt it. Rook h5, uh, f8, and oh dear. Knight h5, bishop f3. Uh, I think I'm getting mated after. It's a shame. Uh, okay, with Queen H5. Just want to stave off, mate. Oh, blimey. 
that wasn't very pleasant and he's provisional as well oh dear uh, oh dear that was a bit dynamic from black um, yeah trying to wake up this morning and that wasn't very pleasant <laughs> whoops okay comments or questions on YouTube thanks so much